Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Portland, Oregon at the Nike Hoop Summit with Livio John Charles from Villarban. Yeah. Livio, how, uh, how is Portland treating you? Uh, it's amazing because, you know, like the infrastructure, the gym, a lot of things around the basketball is great. So in France, we don't have this kind of like stuff. So it's very good to practice here and I enjoyed the trip. How do you feel about your performance so far in the practices? Yeah, I do my best. Like I run, I try to push my teammate to make them do the best. And for the team, after I look for me, and uh, I think if uh, we keep going like that, we can beat USA. For people who are watching this video that don't know you, what can you tell us about what type of player you are? Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm not a three, not, I'm three and four, I'm on the two post, I can guard a three, I can guard a four, so I can run two, make basket quick, and shoot around the two point, three point European <laughs> for the moment, but I will work for the three point USA, and I think I will do the best to become a good three, like Batum, like I got a great uh, size for a big three, so I will work on it. What do you need to improve on to become a small forward full-time? I know that you start at the three for your team in France, but how do you, uh, what, do, what else do you need to keep working on to play that position? Uh, I think a lot of dribble, like Ando, and my shoot, like I need to shoot a lot of threes to be like efficient on it. And after it's like the game of pass, some stuff like that. but. I gotta walk everywhere. That, that's that's good because I can progress and I I have a lot of like thing to improve. So I got a big gap. That's cool. Tell me about um, your career so far. Um, what are some of the teams that you've played for up until now? Okay, I started basketball in French Guyana, and after I came to uh, Incep at 40 years old and three years and after I signed to Oswald and now he's my second here in Oswald and yeah he's, he's great he's good he's good because the coach trusts me and make me work a lot and I appreciate that so you came from French Guyana when you were 14 why did you decide to leave your home well um, I was like my my mom is coach and my dad is player, so I was like, I need to be a great player. I, I got an ambition to be a great player, and I know in French Guyana we be, I cannot have like a lot of stuff coach to train me to become a very good player like I want. So I go to uh, Incep and I work for this, and I go in, and that's good. They, they make me stronger. Where do your parents live now? In French Guyana. Was it difficult leaving home at such an early age and being on your by yourself at age 14 already? Yeah, yeah, it, it was hard because, like, when you, especially when you're 14, you're like your youngest and it's difficult. But the first three months it was hard, and after, yeah, you focus on other things like school, basketball, and you got a lot of friends and people around you keep your hands up and. That's that's a beautiful trip too. So Kevin, Seraphine, you, uh, Damian, Inglis, yeah. who else? And, and why so many good players coming from such a small country? <laughs> I don't know. We 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 love basketball. That, that I think is is the point. And we have a, a good uh, like pro espoir. I don't know like a, junior. yeah, in juniors who like get ready for this. So. Yeah, I think we can be improve a lot of a game. What was your What was your goal for this week? Uh, what did you want to accomplish when you got on the plane from France? I w I want to like um, show people what I can do on the court and what I can like. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> they think I can. I can show, like, uh, uh, this is just a show, show what I can, and I think it's a good thing to evaluate my level 
in like US guys who go to the college and me like to see like when I where I am. So it's a it's a good thing for this. So I was sitting with all the NBA people and a lot of them are talking. They're you're a little bit of a surprise that they, they didn't know you so well. Is there a chance that you take this week and say, okay, I'm gonna try to capitalize and maybe see where I am in the NBA draft. Is that a possibility in your mind right now? I don't really know what, what we do after. I just like now focus on my game of tomorrow and after we see what happened and what was, doesn't matter. This is my chance. I will try to catch it. And if I catch it, I catch it, I will go. Is playing in the NBA uh, a goal for you in your career down the road? Yeah, yeah, it always be like a little point in my head, like I have to be on the league and I work hard all day for this and I hope I will, do, I will be on the league, so <laughs> let's see. Great. Livio, thank you so much. Best of luck.